All right, now, days after Congress's humiliating defeat in five assembly polls, the party is now engaged in a marathon session to find out what really went wrong. CWC meeting that was shared by the party's interim president, Sonia Gandhi, began at 4 p.m. this evening and is still underway. Congress party's poor performance in the recently concluded assembly elections in five states is the top agenda of the CWC meet. During the meeting, chorus for making Rahul Gandhi Congress president yet again grew louder as several leaders and workers have chanted pro-Rahul Gandhi slogans outside the AICC headquarters. Malikarjun Kharge, Ambika Soni, Salman Khurshid, Ajay Makin, Priyanka Gandhi, P. Chidambaram, Ajay Gailot and other senior leaders of the Congress party are currently attending this meeting which is still ongoing. कौन कांग्रेस की नीतियां कार्यक्रम सिद्धांत जो गांधी जी के वक्त के दिए हुए हैं जिसे मैंने कहा देश आज यहां तक पहुंचा है ऐसे ही थोड़ी पहुंच गया है कांग्रेस का डीएनए और देश का डीएनए एक है अल्टीमेटली तो कांग्रेस की सच्चाई सामने आएगी जनता के और जनता उसको स्वीकार करेगी All right, we have Supriya Bhardwaj joining us live from Delhi. Supriya, what we saw of the Congress almost decimated in states like Punjab, which it held for uh, very unfortunate state of affairs. Uh, there, in Uttar Pradesh, barely any relevance anymore for the Congress. Uh, in Goa too, which the, it looked like they could have a standing, that too went out of their hands. Manipur, the same situation. Jharkhand, of course, we know the kind of infighting that led to their debacle there as well. Uh, this kind of sorry state of affairs in the Congress party, a CWC meeting has been now held to discuss and deliberate on what went wrong. The meeting is still ongoing. What's been discussed so far? We hear Rahul Gandhi to be pushed for the president of the Congress party. Well, Navila, as far as the Congress party's uh, CWC meet is concerned, that is the room where the meeting started around 4 p.m. Uh, more than uh, 56 uh, leaders are present in that room, what we are hearing from the sources, out of which uh, many leaders before entering that meeting had categorically stated that uh, it is high time Rahul Gandhi should take over the Congress party and revamp it and uh, start from the scratch. He should, we should come up with a new plan for the people. But outside Congress headquarters, there is a large number of workers who are present there and chanting slogans uh, uh, in favor of Gandhi's and in particularly saying that Rahul Gandhi is the leader of the hour as far as the Congress party is concerned. Well, as far as the five state uh, assembly poll result is concerned, the sources uh, told us that there will be an in-depth analysis as well as a discussion on the entire situation. G23 members had met just uh, a day before this meeting is uh, before this meeting which took place today and had said that uh, there is no question marks which are being raised at the leadership of the Congress party. But yes, they want a reform in the organizational structure. They want that the posts which are empty at the level of state at the level of uh, district and block should be filled and the centering of the uh, Congress party should take place, of the organization should take place. Now, what is one interesting thing is this, that already the Congress party has announced its elections, uh, which is going to be held somewhere around September end or October first week. Uh, the process is already going on. So as far as the next president is concerned, uh, the chorus has grown more and more that Rahul Gandhi should come back and take over as the party's next chief. Uh, as far as the Congress party, uh, uh, many leaders have said that now we have to start working on a different kind of a strategy, particularly for Gujarat as well as that of Himachal, play, uh, Himachal Pradesh. Also, one uh, thing which Nabila, uh, the many Congress leaders pointed towards was uh, this, that both in, Hima, uh, both in Uttarakhand as well as in Goa, where they were hopeful that the governments will come, it was none other than Amadmi Party and TMC which have taken away their votes. So this is also a major concern. They are saying that uh, the way Amadmi Party is spreading, we have to find an alternative as to how to counter them also apart from countering BJP. So these are some of the key issues that were being discussed before that meeting started. But ever since that meeting has started, not a single word has come out from that very room where the meeting is taking place. And uh, what we are hearing from our sources is that after the meeting is over, then there will be a proper uh, press briefing which is going to take place and what next uh, the Congress party plans to do will be announced to the media. Right. Supriya, you know, uh, here, as much as the Congress says that we need to introspect, this has been uh, on their agenda for a while now. Doesn't seem like most of their campaigns that they carried out, including Ladki Hu, Lad Sakti Hu, by Priyanka Gandhi herself, pouring into uh, 
this kind of electoral political scenario for the first time really made any difference for the Congress? If anything, it cut their vote share furthermore. Did you have a chance to speak to any of those Congress leaders who may have told you as to what went wrong? Well, see, as far as ladki who lard sakti ho, and Uttar Pradesh is concerned, Nabila, there's a different take, not among the Congress party, but even the workers and some of the experts who have seen Uttar Pradesh and Congress politics very closely. From last three decades, Congress party is not present in large number. They're just in bits and they were present in bits and uh, pieces. But for the first time, uh, Priyanka Gandhi went all out and worked at the grassroots level at the organization. And this is what not just uh, Ashok Gilot, but many other leaders have come out and said that it was a very positive campaign because the entire other political parties were talking about uh, religion and they were trying to polarize, whereas Priyanka Gandhi stuck to three ma major issues, that of uh, the U unemployment, the, that of the women rights and third being that of the farmers. So they are saying that uh, the entire setup which she has worked upon in last two years as far as Uttar Pradesh is concerned is going to show impact in coming years, especially in 2024 elections. So they are saying this is not a, uh, as uh, to quote Mr. Ashok Gilot, he said this is not a less uh, uh, achievement that she has ensured that we get candidates in 400, more than 400 seats and people fight. Because earlier pa Congress was contesting election with uh, in alliance being an alliance partners so that referring to that he said that is for the first time that has happened that the congress sangathan or the organization at the grassroots level is now being seen as far as priyanka gandhi is concerned they are also mentioning that she continuously went there and mm. ensured that at least people start talking about congress and take uh, stock of it they are also saying that what went wrong when we asked them they said it was highly polarized mm. and because there was one uh, big chunk of people who were just giving votes to Samajwadi party. They are very hopeful that when in 2024 election will come, some of these uh, voters will actually look at Congress party because uh, the voting patterns right. in the state and the voting uh, style of people in uh, Lok Sabha elections are completely different. So this is what the Congress party leaders are maintaining. As far as right. Goa and Uttarakhand is concerned, I have just told you that there is a, the leaders we spoke from both the states said categorically that it was the TMC and uh, Ahmadi party which has cut their votes right. there. As far as Punjab is concerned, well that still remains a mystery.